Hello everyone, it's the Motorcycle Muse here. And I just wanted to do a quick video to explain how the oil pump works on a motorcycle engine. So I've removed the clutch cover from this particular engine and I've actually already removed the oil pump which is just this unit here. So it's secured into the engine with just two small bolts. and when it's fitted in the engine it just slots in here okay so I've removed the two two securing bolts and I'm able to remove the actual oil pump so the oil pump itself consists of essentially three components first of all we have the driven gear and this is the gear that drives the oil pump. The second component in the oil pump is the inner rotor and the third component is the outer rotor. So the inner rotor and the outer rotor they're contained in this little metal unit here. So I'll open that up in a few minutes and you'll, you'll get to see what the inner rotor and the outer rotor look like. But just to mention that this particular oil pump with the inner rotor and the outer rotor is called a trochoid oil pump. So a trochoid oil pump is very, it's a very common um, oil pump to find on most motorcycles. And the reason being that it's, it's very simple and it's also very reliable. So let's start by removing the driven gear, okay? So the driven gear, when it's fitted into the actual engine of the motorcycle, the driven gear is actually driven by the engine itself. So if I just hold it in like that, and if I just turn this, so this is the end of the crankshaft. So the oil pump is actually, the oil pump driven gear is driven by gears hidden behind this this uh, oil filter so as the engine is running the crankshaft is turning and it turns the driven gear and the driven gear rotating acts on the inner rotor inside here and it's the inner rotor combined with the outer rotor that actually pumped the oil. So you can see here um, the surface, the mating surface where the oil pump fits onto the actual engine, that we have two little black oil seals. Now the first one here at the bottom, on the left hand side, that is the um, that is where the oil feeds into the oil pump. So this is the input and this is the output. So this is where the oil feeds from the oil pump back into the engine to be pumped up through the engine. And you can see on the oil pump itself that we have uh, these two holes in the oil pump and they correspond to the to the input and the output. So the input is actually this one here. So the input is this one here and the output is this one here. Okay, so when it's in as this is rotating <clears throat> the cavity in the oil pump sucks in the oil through the input port and then it pumps out the oil through the output port so the driven gear is actually held on with just a simple circlip so I can quite quickly remove that so I just need a little flathead screwdriver and I can actually 
you can just see me, I can just push it off. So it's just a little circlip. I'll leave that there. And with the circlip off, I can remove the actual driven gear. So it's a tight fit. I can use my screwdriver again just to give it a little a few bangs. It won't take much to knock it out. And there we have our driven gear. So as you can see, this particular gear is made of plastic. It's probably quite a hard plastic. Um, the reason being, <coughs> it's possibly the only gear in this engine that is made of plastic. Well, the reason is that it is, uh, it's not, a, it's not going to be under huge pressure. All it's pumping is oil. So, it's probably at a couple of bar pressure. So the forces on this gear are not huge. So, but in a lot of motorcycle engines, this driven gear will be made from metal. In this case, it's made from plastic, probably to save weight. Now, with the driven gear off, I'll just put it to one side along with the circlip. You can see here that there is two holes, and these are the two. Sorry, this side here, there's two holes, and these are the two holes where the two bolts fit in to secure the oil pump to the engine of the motorcycle. Okay. <clears throat> and if we turn it around, this is this is the side, this is where the this is what the driven gear fits onto. You'll notice that it is not fully circular and the reason it's not fully circular is that it allows for the the driven gear to slot on and it will hold securely onto the little this little metal shaft now on the other side <clears throat> we can see again this is where the bolts come through that secure it to the actual engine one there and one here. Again, we have our input port here and our output port there. So I'll just turn it this way. And I can open this oil pump up by just removing these two screws. So with a Phillips head screwdriver. <clears throat> and then I have access to the unit, to the oil pump itself inside of it. So the way the, the oil pump, just to explain it essentially, how the oil pump works, the oil is sucked in here. So as I'm, I'm just going to rotate this, I'm just going to turn this little rotor to drive the oil pump and you're going to be able to see, hopefully. So you're going to be able to see that there is essentially the rotor is actually a little gear. It's a funny shaped gear. So it has a number of teeth, and the teeth are all rounded up, rounded off. Um, and what you'll notice is on the input port that the teeth from the inner rotor don't gel up or match up exactly with the teeth on the outer rotor. There's actually a little bit of a space or a cavity, and that cavity is what is created as the as the rotors turn around. And that's what sucks in the oil. And what you'll also notice on the output port, where the oil is pumped out from the oil pump, that the teeth on the inner rotor gel almost perfectly with the teeth on the outer rotor. And by doing so, they actually force the oil out. So as it's rotating, there's a cavity here between the teeth which sucks in the oil and then as it rotates that cavity closes. So by the time it gets to the output port that cavity has closed and there's less space for the oil to sit and it's forced out through the output port. So that's essentially how the oil pump works.
It's a very simple, very effective, and very reliable. So I'm just going to remove these two Phillips head screws. They're going to be torqued on quite tight. I've already broken them loose so that they're easy to come off. Okay. So as you can see, it's just a simple short screw. It's one. Just undo the second securing bolt and I can lift the lid off this oil pump put that to one side as well okay so now with the two securing bolts off I can just remove the the lid okay so it's just a simple metal lid its role is essentially to secure the inner rotor and stop it from falling out. So, with the lid off the oil pump, I can rotate the drive shaft, which acts on the inner rotor. So you can see here the inner rotor. This is the drive shaft. I'm just moving it up and down. It acts on the inner inner rotor or the inner gear. And as you can see, the spacing on the left hand, the spacing between the teeth of the inner rotor and the outer rotor is on the left hand side there is really no space, but on the right hand side there is plenty of space. And at the input port again is on this side. And as you see, as if you watch one of the teeth moving around, okay? So let's take this one here at the very bottom. Just watch it moving around. It's opening up a space between the inner and the outer rotor gear teat. So that as it moves, that space is getting greater and that actually sucks in, that cavity sucks in oil. And as it keeps rotating, you'll notice that the oil is trapped between the teeth and it actually closes up. So it's almost closed here. So there, at this point, it is closed up fully and this is where the output port is so the oil has nowhere to go but to be forced out through the output port and it's pumped up through the cavities in the engine block to lubricate the various components of the motorcycle engine so that oil will be pumped up the whole way through the different cavities that are in this the block of the engine they will be pumped up actually through some cavities here on the cylinder it will be coming up here and it will be lubricating the <coughs> the various components there will be also lubrication of other components around the motorcycle engine on a lot of engines it really does depend on the motorcycle engine There's a lot of different moving parts and they all have to be kept well oiled to make sure that the engine doesn't seize. Okay, so that's the description of how the how the uh, oil pump work, works. So let me just remove this shaft. So the shaft actually with the lid off, I can actually push it out very simply. So I'll just push it out. Okay. So it's actually this little pin is what secures the shaft and to the inner rotor and causes it to turn so when I remove this inner shaft I can then remove the knock out the inner rotor and give it a tap no it's not coming out that easy so let me just give it a little bit of a push maybe there we go so there you can see that's our inner rotor, it's just a little metal gear, that's it, it's quite simple, just a little metal gear with rounded edges. And you can see again, the outer rotor is just um, a mismatched, mismatched surface essentially. So it fits in, the inner rotor fits into the outer rotor, but not exactly. And that's the key to how an oil pump works.
Last thing to show you here is that there is two little oil seals, little black seals that you can see on the input and the output ports. And their role is just to make sure that the um, there is a secure or a tight bond between the oil pump and the engine so that oil is not escaping. So the oil should be coming pushed out from the input port of the engine and into the input port of the oil pump and you don't want oil getting spilling out down the sides and down into the oil sump. You want that oil to be all contained within the oil pump and to be then pushed back out through the output port where again there is a little rubber black seal to create a little oil seal. So you need to make sure that those two little seals are not damaged in any way you may need to replace them if they're in any way dirty or you may want to take them out and clean them just to make sure that you have a good oil seal. So that's it. That's the oil pump on a motorcycle engine. It's just, it's just that simple. There's only those few little components and that's what most motorcycles rely on. Again, it's called the trochoid oil pump, and the tro it's called the trochoid oil pump because of the shape of the little gear on the inner rotor and the outer rotor. And if you open up the oil pump on probably most motorcycle engines, you will recognize that those two gears, the inner gear and the outer gear. Okay, everybody, hopefully you got something from that, and hopefully you have a good understanding now of how the oil pump on your motorcycle engine works. If you like this video then hit like and subscribe and I'm going to keep the content coming. See you later everyone.